Hi guys, today I'll be taking you through a quick guide to using and getting the most out of your Milo stroller. So as with most modern strollers, the Milo comes equipped with front swivel wheels. These rotate 360 degrees and make getting around tight corners super easy. Where you'll want to lock them is when you're going really fast in one direction or over uneven terrain. This will just provide a little bit of extra stability and prevent what's known as wheel shutter. To lock the front wheels, it's just this switch here. You can lock them on and off. And to remove the front wheels completely, it's this button here and they'll just pull off. If you want to remove the back wheels, press this button here and pull the wheel off. There's an adjustable footrest on the Milo. Two buttons either side and you can adjust up or down. The pivot belly bar can be released from either side. Just press this button and pull it out. There's a five point safety harness which releases with the press of one button. These harness straps are all adjustable so they will fit your growing little one and they just each individually click back into the central connector point. There's an extendable canopy. This is the standard position. And for a little extra protection, you can unzip and fully extend. There's also a peekaboo flap, which allows you to not only keep an eye on them when they're in forward facing mode, but also provides a little bit of extra ventilation. When you receive your Milo in the box, the canopy will be attached, but you'll need to slide the canopy up the frame using these two buttons here. Simply press them, slide up the frame, and the canopy will be in place. To adjust the handlebar, open these latches on either side of the frame. Find the position that's right for you and close the latches. There are 11 different positions that the handlebar can be adjusted to. So if you're having trouble closing these latches, just give it a little bit of a jiggle and it should slide into place and you'll be able to close the latch. The brake is a simple one touch foot brake. So you can just flick it off or put it on. To reverse the direction of the seat, simply lift the seat latch here, pull the foot rest up and lift the seat off the frame. You can flip it around and slide the seat back on to the frame. To recline the seat, it's the same latch. Just lift the latch and recline the seat. The seat recline latch only needs to be used when you're reclining the seat or removing the seat completely from the frame. It doesn't need to be used to move the seat from a fully reclined position back to upright. The weight of a newborn should be enough to keep the seat in position. However, we always recommend you hold on to the base of the canopy if you're moving the canopy when your little one's in the recline position. The stroller can be folded with the seat facing either direction. It's a super easy fold. Just make sure the handlebar's all the way down, pull up on the release levers, and the stroller folds down onto itself. It's a super lightweight frame. And the total weight of the stroller seat plus frame is only 9.7 kilos. So it's super easy to get in and out of the car. To unfold, just release the frame lock and lift the stroller up and it will flip into spot. Ready to roll. The bassinet is super easy to use. Once it's set up, you can place the adapters straight onto the frame and these can go on either side. You can pop the bassinet directly onto the adapters and it will just click into place. With the bassinet you've got ventilation in the canopy. And the cover is completely removable. It can face either direction but we generally recommend parent facing both so you can keep an eye on them but also for parent bonding. To lower the canopy, just press these two buttons here and the canopy can slide back. To pull it up, simply pull it up. To remove the bassinet from the frame, it's this lever here. Simply lift up the latch and the bassinet comes off the frame. To 
to remove the adapters, simply press this button here and pull them off the frame. The frame can be folded with the adapters on, but you will need to remove the bassinet before folding. There are a number of included and optional accessories for the Milo, so I'll take you through using each of these in turn. With your bassinet and stroller set, you'll receive a rain cover for the bassinet, as well as an infant UV cover. To use the UV cover, there are two toggles at one end. At the other end, there are two elastic loops. The elastic loops fit around the connector points on the handlebar here and here. You can then use the toggles to attach the cover to these elastic loops here. To use the bassinet rain cover, simply unfold the cover and place the entire thing over the bassinet. You'll see that there's a gap here for the latch. As well as a flap here that allows you to still access the carry handle. The plastic section here also has ventilation holes, so you don't need to worry about airflow when using the rain cover. With the stroller only product, you've got an infant insert and a UV cover. To install the infant insert, we'll first take off the harness covers. And that's it. To use the UV cover, you'll need the seat to be in parent facing mode. You'll also need the seat to be fully reclined and the canopy to be fully extended. To attach the UV cover, you've got two toggles at one end. At the other end, you'll have two elastic loops. The two elastic loops go over the connector points here and here on the handlebar. You can then use the toggles to attach around the canopy frame. Other optional accessories for the stroller include a toddler board, a seat liner, a foot cover and a rain cover. To use the rain cover, simply unfold the cover and place the entire thing over the stroller seat. To make sure it's the right way up, look for the little hole at the top that the seat latch will fit through. Start at the top and fit it over the canopy before fitting it over the footrest. To use the foot cover, you've got two options on how to attach it. Slide it over the footrest, and if you'd like a little bit more protection, you can use these two toggles here to go around the canopy frame and attach on both sides. You also have the option of folding it over the belly bar and attaching using the elastic toggle here. It's entirely up to you, it's just personal preference and how much coverage you want your little one to have in the seat. To use the seat liner, you'll first need to remove the harness covers. It's easier to do if you also remove the belly bar, just to give you a bit of easier access. So unclip the harness and remove your harness covers. Now you'll notice a number of different 
slots on the seat liner. This is just so that you can adjust the harness to grow as your child does. So make sure you've got the correct shoulder height with the harness for your child. And pass each of the harness straps through the corresponding slot on the seat liner. And you'll have two shoulder straps, two waist straps, and then the central connector with the button. The toddler board is super easy to install. Simply pull down on these two levers and attach the board over the axle. To remove the board, pull the levers back again and lift the board off the stroller. Another option when purchasing the Milo is to purchase either our capsule adapters or a capsule, capsule adapters and stroller in one of our capsule bundles. If you want to use a capsule on your stroller, you'll need to attach the capsule adapters to the front. Just attach the capsule adapters into the same central connection points and then you can take your capsule directly from the car and place it onto the stroller frame. To remove the capsule from the pram, there's two buttons on the top side of the capsule. You'll need to press down on these and pull up. To remove the adapters from the frame, it's pressing this button here and simply pulling it out of the frame. So that's a quick guide to getting started with your Milo. If you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to our customer team. You can reach them through our website, through email, Facebook Messenger, or Instagram Direct. Enjoy using your new Milo and welcome to the family.